Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This morning, we're going to warm up with the song Que Alegria, and it's on page 211 in your Breaking Bread book. Welcome Archbishop Michael Jekylls, confirmation candidates, sponsors, families, and friends to this special mass where we are, are celebrating our not only confirmation, but the presentation of our Lord. We ask that no picture taking take place during the ceremony. There will be time for pictures afterwards. Also, please make sure your cell phones are turned off. Your merciful love, O God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the end of the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. Our gathering song of praise this morning is number 609. We are the light of the world. Please stand.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Buenos dias. Buenos, Buenos dias. Dia. Today we celebrate the feast of the presentation when the Lord Jesus was presented in the temple. Pero también celebramos la presentación de estos candidatos por el sacramento de confirmación. These candidates who are presented by their parents, by their padrinos, their godparents and sponsors, presented to the Lord, asking the Lord to strengthen them. We're happy to be part of this celebration because we all know, don't we? Go like this. <laughs> we all know how much we need the Holy Spirit. Necesitamos el Espíritu Santo para hacer todas las cosas. Aún celebrar la Santa Misa. So, we call upon the Holy Spirit to help us to do all things, especially to offer worship of God at Holy Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, hermanos y hermanas, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Dios Todopoderoso, tenga misericordia de nosotros. Perdone nuestros pecados y nos lleve a la vida eterna. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. That just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant who you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming, and who will stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in days of the old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Lectura de la Carta de los Hebreos. Hermanos, todos los hijos de una familia tienen la misma sangre. Por eso, Jesús quiso ser de nuestra misma sangre, para destruir con su muerte al diablo, que mediante la muerte dominaba a los hombres, y para liberar a aquellos que por temor a la muerte vivían como esclavos toda su vida. Pues como bien saben, Jesús no vino a ayudar a los ángeles, sino a los descendientes de Abraham. Por eso, Tuvo que hacerse semejante a sus hermanos en todo, a fin de llegar a ser sumo sacerdote, misericordio con ellos, y fiel en las relaciones mediante entre Dios y los hombres, y espiar así los pecados del pueblo, como él mismo fue probado por medio del sufrimiento, pues ahora ayuda a los que están sometidos a la prueba. Palabra de Dios. Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, Señor. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it was written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate of the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, may you let your servant go in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, 
which you prepared in sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. morning. Thank you for coming to St. Patrick's to celebrate our liturgy on this special day. We are happy to have you, Archbishop Jacob, at our Circle of Saints Confirmation Mass. I have the honor, sorry, (laughs) I'm their confirmation teacher, um, of presenting the 26 candidates who have been prepared for this sacrament and are here today to receive the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Please stand and respond present when your name is called and remain standing till all the names are read. Marisol Awero. Trey Alcott. Matthew Brea. Antonio Botella. Joel Botella. Eduardo Cervantes. Maria Cervantes, Miguel Cervantes, Gustavo Chavarria, Katie Chima, Colson Frakes, Hector Garcia, Rosa Garcia, Callie Halla, Jose Hernandez, Edward Martinez, Jose Marino, Janet Marino, Alejandro Pasina, Francisco Pasina, Dalia Fuentes, Natalie Stodler, Isabel Tainisma, Ethan Vandywall, Grant Vandywall, Michelle Warner. Thank you very much. You can be seated. I mentioned. We celebrate today the feast of the presentation when Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus into the temple of Jerusalem. When we celebrate confirmation, it's also like a presentation. Like Jesus, you all, being presented here. Presented here by who? Who who brought you to baptism? Your parents. Your parents, your godparents. All these years, what are you now, like 25, 26? (laughs) All these years, your parents, do you have parents here? Stand up for just a minute. Anybody claim it? All these years, I think I walked in with you, didn't I? Anyway, all these years, they have worked to teach you about Jesus, to teach you about his church, to give you a good example of how to live according to the teachings of Christ. They presented you at baptism. And really, who's presenting you here today for confirmation? And who else? Start with P and with Aaron. Very good, yes. I mean, it's true 
You, you have, you're a lot bigger now than you were when you were baptized, right? Considerably. You had something to say about it, but your parents were the ones who made the decision about confirmation. Did you make a decision about baptism? Mm, uh, collective. <laughs> oh, so confirmation completes baptism. Ese sacramento es el, es el completo, ¿sí? ¿Se dice completo? Del, del bautismo. It completes it. Doesn't mean that your job is over, even though he's won 25, 26. But today completes it. You're being presented to the Lord. And what does that mean? You know, when, when Jesus was presented to the Lord, he was identified as what? Nosotros decimos Jesús que? Cristo. Cristo. Es apellido? Is Christ his last name? No. Correct. Es un título. It's a title. And you know what it means? What, this, what Christ means? It's not Spanish, and it's not Italian, and it's not English. It comes from Greek. It means ungido, anointed. He was presented in the temple. Here is the anointed, el ungido de Dios. And that is what's happening here. Your parents, your godparents, now your sponsor, poor sponsor, has got two of you to worry about. Somebody else over here that has two. Who else are you there? Okay. Hombre fuerte. See. They're presenting you and saying, Here, here is the anointed of the Lord. Because you've been anointed before, haven't you? At your baptism. Ya ungido. Ya. El ungido de Dios. And what does that mean to be the anointed of the Lord? It means that you're chosen. You know, your parents came for baptism and they said, Here, Lord, this one, she belongs to you. Take her, please. She doesn't sleep at night. She keeps her <laughs> she doesn't change diapers. Take her. <laughs> oh, I truly love you, don't they? And being the anointed, ungido, not only means, here, Lord, this one belongs to you, you belong to God. But God looks at you and says, this one belongs to me. This one, you're baptized, right? This one is my precious possession. This one is the apple of my eye. This one is the darling of the deity. This is the beloved of the Lord. Wow. Now that may not mean anything to you in your young age, 25, 26. Now wait till you get older. Ask your sponsor. She's older, right? <laughs> okay, don't ask your sponsor. Ask your friend. <laughs> That means something, doesn't it, parents? For to, to know that God looks at us, at each and every one of us. You might say, at me, at you. God looks at me and says, my beloved, the apple of my eye, the darling of the deity. And we might say, but what happens if I'm, I, I, I know myself. I look at myself in the mirror every morning. I know that I'm, I'm not always such a nice guy. There's hardly a day goes by that I don't end it by saying, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. So, maybe God loves you. Maybe God thinks of you as his special one. But, but not me, because of my sins. No. Even me. I can't earn God's love. No podemos meditar el amor de Dios y no podemos perder 
el amor de Dios. We can't earn it. We can't lose it. There's nothing that you can do to earn God's love. You don't deserve it. But likewise, there's nothing that she can't do to lose God's love. What a beautiful thing. There might be others who don't like me. Or there might be others. Don't we sometimes hear this? Oh, I love you. Unless you do or say this. Or I'll won't love you until you do this or say this. You know, we've heard this, haven't we? Strings attached. It's not God. Es un amor incondicional. Unconditional. Es un amor sin límites, without limits, unbounded love. That's what it means. Here, here, this one belongs to you, God. And God looks at you and says, ha, 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 my beloved. Well, that's good. <coughs> but it's for a purpose. The anointed of the Lord, we call him Christ. Did he have anything to do? Did God send him for any purpose? Well, like this. Yes. And when you don't know the answer, because, I mean, no would have been the right answer if the question were different. But if you don't know the answer, then you go to your sponsor. This your sponsor? Because that's the role of a sponsor. Pobrecito. Que tiene Dios. Dos. El papel del padrino. First, to give you answers when you don't know. Answers about the faith. Respuestas. Uh, explanations. Explicaciones. Okay. That's one rule. Otro papel. Buen ejemplo. You can follow your sponsor. And do what he does with your father. And with the confidence that if you follow him, follow his example, you will end up at the pearly gate to heaven. That's the role of a sponsor. A dar buen ejemplo a este ungido. And the third role is to give you money whenever you ask for it. <laughs> A dar un montón de dinero cuando ellos quieren. Por eso, pobrecito, que tiene Dios, no. What is? Jesus was sent with a purpose. You want to take a stab at it? You remember the purpose of, of Jesus coming among us? Anybody? Yes. Sponsor to to get uh, and help us to get to heaven. And what did Jesus do to help us to get to heaven? He died on the cross. But not only. What else? Hmm? He also Domingo de Pascua la huh? He, re he resurrected and he rose from the dead. Resucitar. Because if all he did was die for us and just stayed in the grave, heaven would have been, remained closed. But he died to take away our sins and he rose to open up the gates of heaven. So that's, that's where we're headed. You follow the example of your father. Last week, one of our retired priests died. May he rest in peace. He left instructions that after I die, I want to be, and, and they prepare my body for burial. I want to wear this and want to wear this. We have special liturgical, you know, church clothes all ready for him. Because, he said, I want to be well dressed for the homecoming. Isn't that something? I want to put on my Sunday best for the homecoming. When I go home to heaven and I am with God, 
A beautiful thing. Father O'Brien left those instructions. For the homecoming. That was Jesus' mission. That's why he came. He came with a special purpose. He was the Unquilo, the anointed, the Christ, in order to die for us. Rise from the grave so that we could go to heaven, so we could go home. So like you, you are the anointed of the Lord. You also have a mission. Un papel, una misión. Como Jesús. Y como cada cristiano. Like every Christian, every follower of Jesus, we have a mission. A mission to take part in the, the work of the church. Like our, where did she go? The confirmation, oh there you are. Oh, oh you got another job. Yeah. <laughs> to teach others the faith. Like the teacher of confirmation, like your parents, like your padrinos, to teach others the faith. That's not just the job of father, or the job of the deacon, or the job of a catechist. That's the job of parents, padrinos, todos nosotros cristianos, a compartir el fe que tenemos, la esperanza que tenemos, el amor que tenemos, a casa de Jesús. It's the job of each of us to share our faith, our hope, and our love. And we do this in a certain way. What's, what's one way that you can share the faith, hope, and love of Christians with others? Let me, let me make it more specific. Let's see. You could do this as parents, like yours. You could do this like as a who, like Father Miguel. You could do this, do we have any religious here? Sisters or brothers? Nobody? Mm -hmm. You could do it as a religious sister, not a sister, sister or brother. So let's say that you're called to priesthood. How can you share? How can you take part in the work of the church, sharing faith, hope, and love with others? Reach out and do good acts. Have you ever seen him reach out and do good acts? All right. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably going to give you a wad of cash afterwards for giving that answer in front of me. Let's say the church calls to be a religious sister, Sister Kunagunda. I love that name. Good that. So how can you, as a, as a sister, share in the work of the church? Going out to help the homeless. How else? Sister, we got three, four sisters here. Helping the homeless. Some sisters find themselves in front of a group of people seated at little desks in a big room. Teach, all right. Some sisters find themselves in these big buildings that have lots of beds and people go, <laughs> nursing. I don't know what's left. Praying for them. Great ways, great ways to share the faith as a priest, as a sister. How about, let's say that you're called to be married. Married in the church. You and your wife raise up children. How can you share faith, hope, and love? Teach them. And what do you do with them on Sunday? Bring them to church. And what do you do with them on Fridays of Lent? You make salmon patties. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll make faces and they'll eat them, but you say, no, you sit down and you eat that. Because, this is what parents say, so you, if you're called to be married, you have to learn this. Because there are starving children wherever. Council Bluffs. There are starving children in Council Bluffs who would love these salmon patties. Okay, you memorize it already? 
Write it down later on. <laughs> You, too, are called to carry on the work of Jesus in the church as a priest, as a religious, as a married person. Last point, no matter what we do, whether we, we do it as a priest or as a religious or as a married person, whether we're teaching or praying or we're taking care of the poor, the homeless, or the sick. Whether we're changing diapers in the middle of the night or, or poking your wife and saying, it's your turn to get up and feed the kid. I did it last time. <laughs> no matter what, the most important thing is that what we do, we do, there's two things. We do them as Jesus would do them. And there were two Two ways of thinking, two ways of feeling that really are all Jesus. One starts with a, doesn't mean loser. <laughs> love. To do it with love. Which means that you do it not because you're going to get something in return. Or you do it not because you owe. You do it because somebody's got to feed the kid. If you don't change that diaper, life is going to get miserable for all of us. <laughs> you do it with love. And the other starts with an H. Anybody? That's a good H word. He said hope, but not the one I'm wanting. También en español empieza con acá. Humildad. Sí. Humility. To do it with humility. You know what Jesus said? You know what he said about us as followers? And, and not just me or, or Father Miguel, but you're Miguel, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe one day Father Miguel. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Either Father Miguel como sacerdote or Father Miguel... It's your turn to get up and feed the kid. Anyway, you know what Jesus said to his followers, to all of his followers? You must find or put yourself in the last place to be the servant of all. The last place. Esclavo. De todo. Servant. Serviente. Pero también, él dice, esclavo. Esposo por la esposa. Husbands for their wives. Wives for their husbands. Parents. Esclavos of your uh, children. Esclavos of your parents. Slaves. That's it. My parents, they had a philosophy that children serve two purposes. And that's all like the one in your arms. They entertain you always and they're cute. And then when they get to be about two or three, esclavos, they become your slaves. <laughs> but also parents. Servientes, esclavos, de sus hijos. Parents, slaves of their children. So, no matter what we do, priest, sister, married person, we do it with love, Jesus' love, and with Jesus' humility. This is not easy. But you have the help of your parents, you have the help of your baptismal godparents, you have the help of your sponsor, who gives you answers, gives you a good example, gives you money whenever you ask for it. You have the, the help of your pastor and all the people of your parishes who want you, want you to, to move forward and stand with them to continue the mission of the church. And today with this sacrament, you will also have the help of, and I'm not doing the chicken dance, 
Now form L S P B P Santo, the Holy Spirit. So you, candidato, if you want to be confirmed, if you want to say, see, so I feel. I am the anointed to be presented to the Lord. If you want to join with others in the mission of the church, and if you want the help of God, I would invite you to sing. But if not, we'll just move on with Mass. De pie se quiere ser un quiero. Oh, que bueno. Yay. Confirmation crew, come on down. That is our key. Let's see if they... Very good. Okay. First part. I'm going to ask you five questions. It's not a test. I'll give you the answer. The same answer for each five. I knew. Not a marriage either, okay? <laughs> This is your opportunity to say, see, fail. Yes, I believe. Come, Holy Spirit, strengthen my faith. First of all, do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Third, this is long, so wait, wait for it, wait, wait. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, suffered under Pontius Pilate, I'm sorry, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Fourth, do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who came upon the apostles at Pentecost, and today is given to you in confirmation? Last. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church, and we are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Let the Church say, Amen. Amen. Okay, second part. <coughs> when the bishop asks, God our Father to send the Holy Spirit to strengthen you to be followers of Jesus. Followers of Jesus as a priest, or as Sister Kunagunda, or as a married guy getting up in the middle of the night and changing diapers and feeding the baby. As Jesus would, with love and humility. I would invite everybody in church to join me in your minds and hearts, asking God to give the Holy Spirit to these candidate for confirmation. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The last part of confirmation <coughs> is the anointing. Unfeel. To be anointed with oil to be like Christ, so that you can be like Christ, so that you can continue the work of Christ as a priest, as a sister, as a married person, doing all with the love and humility of Christ. This is the way the Holy Spirit comes to you. Now at Pentecost, there was a noise like a driving wind we might have heard last Sunday outside. And there were tons of flame that came down. 
That may happen today. So if you got that goop in your hair, watch out. <laughs> but if it doesn't happen, when you feel the oil being smeared on your forehead, you know in faith that God the Holy Spirit comes to you, resides, abides in you, and is ready to, to help you in any way that you want. It's not magic. You have to want it. But any way you want. So, first of all, I would invite you to sit. And then to... Okay, you two can sit down. Then to, to come up as you practice for the anointing with your sponsor. I don't know how you practice. Do I stand here? Okay, I'll stand here. And either you have to come to me or I'm going to take the one of you. <laughs> Raphael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Natalia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Agnes, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. San Francisco de Asís, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Peter, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Isidore, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Flora, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Fail be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Leo the Great, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Pedro, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Father, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Again. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Antonio. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Father Lupe, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Father, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Mateo, be sealed with 
filled with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Be seated with you. Maria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Be seated with you. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Isaac, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Gabriel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah? Why not? <laughs> I'll get not. Anybody else want to be confirmed while you're here? and pray to God for our needs and the needs of others. Our response this morning is, Oremus, pray to the Lord. For the confirmed. Por los confirmados. Oremus, pray to the Lord. For the poor. Por los pobres. Oremus, pray to the Lord. For the sick. Por los enfermos. Oremos. Oremos praise to the Lord. For the church. Por la iglesia. Oremos, Oremos praise to the Lord. For peace throughout the world. Por la paz en el mundo. Oremos praise to the Lord. For the families. Por las familias. Oremos praise to the Lord. For Pope Francis. Por el Papa Francisco. Oremos praise to the Lord. For our priests. Por los sacerdotes. Oremos praise to the Lord. For our bishops. Por nuestro obispo. Oremos praise to the Lord. For our brothers and sisters in Christ. Por nuestros hermanos en Cristo. Oremos praise to the Lord. For those who suffer hunger. Por los que sufren de hambre. Oremos praise to the Lord. And for our faith community. Por nuestra comunidad de fe. Oremos praise to the Lord. Padre eternal. Ten misericordia de nosotros. Eh, escucha nuestra oración que hacemos con la ayuda del Espíritu Santo en el nombre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Amén. Our song for the preparation of the gifts is number 307, Come to the Feast, Vin El Banquet. Yeah. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offering made with exultation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as the Lamb without blemish who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. He is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and the light of the nation. And so we too go forth, rejoicing to encounter your salvation and with the angels and saints praise you as without end we acclaim. by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her for the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the also her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Y siguiendo su divina enseñanza, podemos decir, Padre, Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, sea que sea tu nombre, venga a tu reino, 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 Deliver us, us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and the power and the glory of the Lord, sing now and forever. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit.
over the Lamb of God. He calls him to take away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord. Our communion song is number 348, One Bread, One Body.
by these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us. And as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Are there any announcements? <laughs> okay. Um, I think you all know, but the Compromandi and their sponsors, or Compromandi are uh, not going to exit right away. You'll be here for your picture. Um, and then also, folks, uh, um, Last week we had to cancel the ecumenical prayer service, which is here, uh, because of the weather. So we're going to try to have it today. I'm not sure how to go, but you're most welcome if you want. Four o'clock today, short service followed by refreshments. Uh, the, the churches in town are, are taking part of it and we're hosting it. So you're most welcome to come, but I, I do realize you might have other plans this late afternoon and evening, okay? <laughs> okay. I can't imagine what they might be. Thank you, Archbishop. And thanks for coming. It's great to have you here. And uh, God blessed us with good weather, okay? There will be a, a group photo, as Father mentioned, right after Mass. And if you would like, I can't imagine why you would like, my mother says, I have a face made for radio, <laughs> but I will stick around for pictures with you and your sponsor if, if you like. Um, I want to thank our great altar servers, wonderful job, and two of them are not normal. <laughs> In the sense that they don't normally serve here, and they don't normally sit there, and they don't normally carry the magic stick of power in the tall pointy hat, so good job. Thank you very much, choir. You know, all these people and many others like your, your teachers, they give good example of how you can take a little part uh, in continuing the mission of Christ, in leading others in worship, or teaching others about Jesus, or helping the poor and the homeless, or, or the sick, or whomever as a priest, or as Sister Conagunda, or the two married guys behind you, <laughs> married to other women. And <laughs> so, good example. Take their example, including the example given to you by your sponsor. And I should mention, I hope you know, but there's refreshments in the cafeteria over, over there for all that are here today. Refreshments, and I, I think you guys know your certificates are out yonder too. Okay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. You know, uh, let me just throw in another blessing. It's tomorrow, isn't it, the Feast of St. Blaise? So, a lot of people are not able to come to the church to receive the blessing, the special blessing a same place, so I will give it to everyone here. Through the, I'll be with them in just a minute. <laughs> Through the intercession of Saint Blaise, Bishop and Mark, may God deliver you from every ailment of the throat and from any other evil. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay. Take it away. Why? <laughs> Our parting song is number 628. We are called. <coughs>